Hello and welcome to the first of two videos regarding cultural heritage digitization based on the activities of the SOS Heritage European Project, a desk research aimed at identifying and sharing good practices for digital creation and the digital promotion of cultural heritage. In this video, we will first define our terms, following which we will look at the various types of digitization for cultural heritage, then we will briefly talk about some of the benefits and potential drawbacks of digitization in the case of cultural heritage, and in the end we will finish with some conclusions. In recent years, the digitization of cultural heritage has emerged as a powerful tool in preserving and disseminating our collective history. Museums, libraries and archives around the world are harnessing the capabilities of digital technology to ensure that our cultural treasures are not only preserved for future generations, but also made accessible to a global audience. On Europeana, a digital platform that provides access to a vast collection of cultural heritage resources from European museums, galleries, libraries, archives and audiovisual collections. According to their statistics, there are more than 31 million images, more than 25 million texts, more than 1 million sound and more than 350,000 video records, as well as more than 4,000 3D contents. But before diving into our topic, let us go back to the basics and look at our terminology. So what is digitization? If we wish to define the term, digitization refers to the process of converting analog information into digital format, which involves representing data, such as text, images, and sound, as discrete elements or digits. This transformation allows for the storage, processing, and transmission of data in a more efficient and versatile manner. In the context of various fields, digitization has become a crucial aspect of modernization and technological advancement. The various types of digitization include text, image, audio, video, document digitization, all requiring specific technologies depending on the medium and on the result that we wish to achieve. All in all, Digitization plays a significant role in various sectors, including education, healthcare, business and government, leading to increased efficiency, accessibility and the integration of technology into everyday processes. Then we need to look at the other key term, cultural heritage. Cultural heritage refers to the collection of tangible and intangible elements that are inherited from past generations, preserved in the present, and passed on to future generations. It encompasses a wide range of artefacts, traditions, practices, and expressions that represent the cultural identity, history, and values of a particular community, group, or society. When we add the key term cultural heritage to digitization, then the process involves the conversion of physical artifacts, documents, and other cultural resources into digital formats for preservation, accessibility, and research purposes. There are several types of digitization methods applied to different aspects of cultural heritage. We have text digitization for books and manuscripts, converting printed books, manuscripts, and other written documents into digital text format when often using optical character recognition or OCR technology. Or for archives and letters, digitizing historical letters, archives, and correspondences for preservation and accessibility. We have image digitization for photographs, paintings, and graphic art transforming photographs, paintings, and other visual artworks into digital images for preservation and online access. Or for slides and negatives, converting analog photographic slides and negatives into digital format. We have audio digitization for audio recordings, digitizing analog audio recordings, such as speeches or music performances, to ensure their preservation and wider dissemination but also for oral histories, 
converting recorded oral histories, interviews, and other audio recordings into digital formats for archiving and sharing. We have video digitization for film and videotapes, converting analog films, VHS tapes, and other video recordings into digital formats to prevent the deterioration and enhance accessibility. Then we have 3D digitization for artifacts and objects, using 3D scanning technologies to create digital representations of physical artifacts, sculptures, and cultural objects for research, virtual exhibitions, and preservation, but also for architecture. Architectural digitization refers to the process of creating digital representations of architectural structures, buildings, and historical sites. This involves using digital technologies to capture, document, and preserve the physical and spatial characteristics of architectural elements. And we also have geospatial digitization for maps and geographic data. Digitizing historical maps, geographical records, and other spatial data to create digital databases for analysis and comparison. But there is also metadata digitization for cataloging and documentation, creating digital metadata records for cultural artifacts to enhance organization, searchability, and retrieval of information. And there are other possibilities. For example, for cross-media integration, integrating various digitized formats, texts, images, audio and video contents, to provide a comprehensive view of cultural heritage resources. And then, when we want to be more engaging or fanciful with our digital content, we are helped by the possibilities offered by virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, for virtual exhibitions. Creating these exhibitions and immersive experiences using VR and AR technologies showcase cultural heritage items. Each type of digitization serves a specific purpose, contributing to the preservation, accessibility, and promotion of cultural heritage for current and future generations. I think that all of us agree how useful the digitization of cultural heritage is. Now let us examine some of its benefits more closely. I have grouped these into various general topics. In terms of preservation, we have preservation and conservation. Digital copies provide a means of preserving fragile and deteriorating physical artifacts. This helps protect cultural heritage from natural disasters, environmental degradation, and physical wear and tear. We have also the mitigation of physical handling risks. Digital access reduces the need for physical handling of delicate artifacts, minimizing the risk of damage associated with frequent exhibitions, transportation and handling. And digital restoration and reconstruction. Digitization allows for the restoration and reconstruction of damaged or fragmented artifacts. Virtual reconstruction techniques can help recreate historical structures or artwork that may have been lost or damaged over time. From an academic viewpoint, we have education and research. Digitized cultural heritage resources serve as valuable educational tools. Researchers, scholars and students can access materials remotely, enhancing academic research, learning, and the dissemination of knowledge. We have accessibility and increased visibility. Digitization allows for broader access to cultural heritage resources. People from around the world can remotely explore and study artifacts, manuscripts, artworks, and other materials without the need to physically visit specific institutions. We have global outreach and collaboration. Digital platforms facilitate international collaboration and sharing of cultural resources. Institutions can collaborate on digitization projects, share expertise, and contribute to a global understanding of cultural heritage. As well as searchability and discoverability, digital archives often come with searchable metadata, making it easier for users to find specific items 
or explore thematic collections. This enhances the discoverability of cultural heritage materials. From the viewpoint of how we present our content and how we engage our audiences, we have interactivity and engagement. Digital platforms enable interactive experiences, such as virtual exhibitions, 3D models, and multimedia presentations. This engages a broader audience and provides a more immersive understanding of cultural heritage. Diversity and inclusivity. Digitization helps showcase the diversity of cultural heritage from various regions, communities, and perspectives. It promotes inclusivity by making cultural resources accessible to a global audience and highlighting lesser-known histories. Digital storytelling and narratives. Digital platforms provide opportunities for curators, historians, and cultural institutions to create digital narratives and storytelling experiences. This helps contextualize cultural artifacts and convey historical information in engaging ways. And public engagement and outreach. Cultural heritage digitization enhances public engagement by making cultural resources available to a broader audience. It encourages public interest, appreciation and understanding of diverse cultural traditions. Thus, as we could see, the digitization of cultural heritage offers numerous benefits, contributing to the preservation, research, accessibility and promotion of cultural artifacts and knowledge. However, as every coin has two sides, so does every innovation, new process and technology come also with drawbacks and challenges. Let us take a look at some of these. Here too, I have grouped these into various general topics. The audience experience or the human dimension. First is loss of context. Digitization may result in the loss of contextual information associated with physical artifacts. The richness of the physical environment, historical context, and the tactile experience of handling objects can be challenging to convey in a digital representation. A part of this is the following issue, but I think it's important to highlight the loss of tangibility. Digitization cannot fully replicate the tangible experience of interacting with physical artifacts. The texture, the scent, and physical presence of cultural objects may be lost in the digital realm, impacting the holistic appreciation of heritage. And also, loss of authenticity. The digitization process may not fully capture the authenticity of certain cultural artifacts, especially those with intricate details, textures, or three-dimensional aspects. Virtual representations may not fully replicate the physical experience. These three are all interlinked and just highlight various aspects of a missing key element that gives meaning to our encounters with cultural heritage and which, for now, the digital copy of cultural heritage cannot fully replicate the holistic experience, the atmosphere of a place, the sense of awe that we all feel when stepping on sites of great historical or artistic significance, or the marvel that we might feel when closely observing or just being in the presence of a beautiful, masterfully created artifact, or indeed the feeling of involvement when we are drawn into a play, a musical piece, a song or a dance performance. And as a fourth drawback, the digital divide. Despite the potential for global accessibility, a digital divide does exist. Not all communities or regions have equal access to digital resources or technology. Digitization may exacerbate existing inequalities, creating a digital divide where some populations are left behind in terms of accessing and benefiting from digitized cultural heritage. Then we have the issues related to technical and economic resources. The lack of standardization. There may be a lack of standardized practices and formats in cultural heritage digitization, inconsistencies in metadata, digitization methods, and file formats can hinder interoperability 
and data exchange between institutions. Technological obsolescence. Digital formats can become obsolete and the rapid pace of technological advancements may pose challenges for the long-term preservation of digital content. Ensuring the continued accessibility of digitized materials requires ongoing efforts to migrate data to new formats and storage systems. We have resource constraints. Digitization projects require significant resources, including funding, expertise, and technology. Smaller cultural institutions, or those with limited budgets, may struggle to undertake comprehensive digitization initiatives. Digital preservation costs. Maintaining digital archives over the long term can be expensive. Organizations need to allocate resources for ongoing digital preservation efforts, including periodic migration of data to new storage systems and formats. Finally, there may be some issues related to digital security, intellectual property rights, and privacy. Intellectual property issues. Digitized cultural materials may be subject to copyright restrictions, and navigating the legal and ethical considerations of digitizing and sharing cultural heritage can be quite complex. Balancing the need for open access with copyright compliance can be a challenge. And finally, data security and privacy concerns. The digitization of cultural heritage often involves collecting and storing sensitive information. Ensuring the security and privacy of digitized data is crucial to prevent unauthorized access, misuse, or data breaches. Despite these challenges, ongoing efforts are being made to address these drawbacks and enhance the effectiveness of cultural heritage digitization. Institutions are working towards developing best practices, standards, and collaborative approaches to ensure the responsible and sustainable digitization of cultural heritage. So, is the digitization of cultural heritage beneficial to us? When we weigh the benefits and drawbacks of cultural heritage digitization, we can see that the benefits, including preservation, accessibility, education, and global outreach, outweigh the drawbacks. The potential for sharing, learning, and preserving cultural heritage on a global scale justifies the continued investment and commitment to digitization initiatives. While challenges exist, they can be addressed through collaborative efforts, technological advancements, and ethical considerations, making cultural heritage digitization a valuable and worthwhile endeavor for the present and future generations. Thank you for watching this video that perhaps was able to provide you with a bit of more information on the importance of the digitization of cultural heritage. If you wish to dive in deeper into the vast field of digitized cultural heritage, check out the Europeana website, which can be a good starting point, offering a variety of digital content. You might also find Google Arts and Culture an interesting place, as it has a vast collection of images, virtual tours, and educational content. See you in the next video.